So special triangles, like, automatically you're probably worried there's probably, like, going to be several of them and you're going to have to memorize them. There's actually only two special triangles, which is good. You have the 30, 60, 90, right? And you have the 45, 45, 90. They both involve a 90 degree angle in there. And the cool thing is, is like once you kind of have this mastered, you can do quick math just by glancing at these triangles. Um, and they're super easy, I promise. All right, so let's start with the 30, 60, 90. Basically, here's your 90 degrees. And it will look something like this. Notice this is smaller, you know, 30 degrees, and this is 60. Obviously, that's not perfect, but who cares? <coughs> okay, so the rule is, is you have x, 2x, and x root 3. And I realize that makes no sense, but basically, this is the relationship between the shortest side, the longest side, and then the hypotenuse, which actually the hypotenuse is always the longest side, but about short, longer, and longest, okay? So, you know, looking at that, automatically you're probably like, so how does that actually materialize in a problem? Here's how. So they might do something like this. Okay, this is a 30, 60, 90, and they'll say, this is five, so find the other sides. Remember, it's x, 2x, and x root three. If this is x and this is 2x, you literally just double it, and then this is just times root three. Done. So remember, it was x, 2x, and x root three. So if x is five, well then that would be 10, and that's five root three. Uh, I'll give you another example, and I'll show you how one thing can be mildly difficult for these, I think, because uh, they're pretty easy, kind of, but there's one thing that is, like, horrible that messes kids up, and I'll do one of those. Okay, so what if I did this? What if I said, okay, here's my 30, 60, 90, 30, and this is my 60, right, and there's my 90. What if I said this was 7 root 3, and to find the other guys, okay? If you're witty, you can be like, <coughs> wait, this is x root 3, I'll put them in again x, x root 3, and 2x. So if you're like super sharp, you can be like, oh wait, I can totally tell. This is supposed to be x root 3, so x must be 7. And if that's true, this guy's 7. And if he's 7, well then this guy's even easier, he's 14. So you're kind of solving backwards. Okay, now here's the one that is horrible. Ready? And remember, we're still on 30, 60, 90 triangles. Okay, follow me, this is lame. Okay, so you have, this messes everybody up, okay? So you have, you're 30 here, you're 60 here, and you're 90. What if they give you, <laughs> I mean, before I do the hard one, if I gave you 20, that's just too easy. That's 20, that has to be 10, that's 10 root 3. Now's the lame one. So what if they give you this side, except they give you a whole number, right? And you're like, well, Ryan said that if this was like 10 root 3, that'd be easy, because that would be 10, that'd be 20, but it's not a root 3, it's a whole number. And it's stressful, so all you do is this. You don't, it's too hard. Like, I can't do that in my head. It's like impossible. You just take the sucker and don't think too hard and say, well, Ryan said that the longer side is equal to x root 3. So just do that, right? 10 equals x root 3 and then solve for x. Divide both sides by root 3. Divide them by root 3. So your answer would be x equals 10 over root 3. Now the real nerds in the audience are saying, oh no, you can't have a root in the denominator. That's illegal. True statement, nerds of America. I'm one of you, so I can be proud with you. You actually have to rationalize the denominator now. And remember, that's multiply top and bottom by root 3. So you'd end up with 10 root 3 over root 3 times root 3 is 3. So that would be your x or your shortest side. Now, your hypotenuse, just double that. 10 root 3 over 3, 20 root 3 over 3, doubled. So you're done. So if they give you a whole number for the, for the kind of the root side, then I agree it's pretty lame. All right, so that's 30, 60, 90. Pretty easy. Okay, 45, 45. There, it's the same thing where there's like predetermined rules and relationships, right? So here's the rule or the relationship for 45, <coughs> 45, 90. It's like this. So first of all, if these are both 45, the Sharpies out there are thinking, well, if these angles are the same, so are the sides. And that's true. It's x, x, and x root 2, right? So kind of like the other one, if I knew that this was 10, right? If he's 10, well, then he's 10, and he's 10 root 2. It's that easy for the 45, 45, 90, you know? Okay, now let's play with it. So what if, uh, okay, so what if I'm doing my homework, and then this is like randomly... 36 root 2. Oh, that's super easy because that's x root 2. This is 36, 36. Now for the lame one. Remember, what if this comes out to a whole number? This is what everybody stresses over, okay? So now I'm going to make this a whole number, right? 
So let's say like this is 10. That's not cool because this used to be like x root 2. It's super hard. Remember what wise Ryan once told you. Don't think too hard. If 10 is supposed to be x root 2, make it equal to x root 2. Divide both sides by root 2, root 2, and you're done. x equals 10 over root 2. Rationalize the denominator. Root 2, root 2. You have 10 root 2 over root 2 times root 2 is 2. One more thing, that actually kind of reduces, so that would be 5 root 2. To those are your two sides here and here and that's it those are special triangles there's only two of them you really should get them memorized they show up on like SATs and ACTs and in dark alleys and everywhere so you might want to know them pretty well and that's it and remember if you're struggling with your uh, your algebra 2 class at your local high school you can take it online at Silicon Valley High School and the credits will be transferred back to you from there